Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noding. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at Mesh 2 Volume Note. So, apparently, we actually have a Mesh 2 Volume Note with a Blender 3.3. So, if we go to Geometry Notes and Shift A and search for Mesh 2 Volume, we actually have this note. So, the other day, we take a look at Volume Cube, which only generate uh, basically like a cube like a cube volume and we can definitely remesh that so we actually have mass to volume which can convert any geometry into a volume so if you have like a like a torus or you have like a monkey head and then if you select this guy and then command L and then just link or copy the modifier they all gonna turn into a volume so this is pretty cool. We don't have many things. Oh, we don't have many nodes that's dealing with volume yet. But I think as soon as we have a way to boolean some volumes or do something with the density, then we might be into something. Okay, so let's save this very quickly. So this is mesh volume. There's actually a lot, a lot of things that. Uh, we can explore and maybe there's a lot of like hidden uh, hidden things that I don't know yet but uh, uh, let's take a look anyway so we have two ways there's this, this fill volume will it's kind of filling the whole volumes and when you actually mesh to volume it oh just search volume to mesh you turn it back into mesh What's gonna happen is you, if you look at the wireframe by hitting Z, fill volume will turn everything into a full volume. If it's turned off, you're gonna have something that's more like a solidify and you can control the thickness. Okay, sort of, okay. So this is really handy if you are doing a Boolean maybe. So, for now, if you actually want to do like a boolean, you definitely can do that. Uh, for example, if you move the original objects and then just simply join join the geometry. So by creating transform, I'm creating a duplicate, right? And I can transform it. And yeah, I think it's it's actually working. If I fill the volume, you can see the volume is kind of meshing and creating this clone. And you can rotate it and do whatever to it. So yeah, I think with this effect, uh, uh, with this volume, you can quickly create something that's maybe kind of like a cloud or something. Let's, uh, let's reset this. Okay, that's you can rotate yeah see we are creating a clone and you can imagine like a cloud um, we can control the voxel density the density of the volume itself you don't always need to convert it back to mesh because as a volume you can actually do something with the shader I haven't tried it yet, but yeah, f so far I just, I've been playing with the volume to mesh. And then at this point, maybe you can kind of set the position and you can use something like noise again, like noise and photo noise. And because this is already a mesh and we can, we can offset this guy using the noise so it's offsetting it you can see it's it's kind of shifted because we need to normalize this by minus 0 0.5 okay and we can perhaps control the strength using multiplier okay so and we can control the noise itself 
and if it's like a cloud it's moving slowly I'm using the 40 noise just to show you okay and don't forget okay this is still it's rough so we can smooth this Control the strings. So this is with the noise texture. You can try the color. Oh, the photo noise. Um, okay, photo noise give you like a cell, cell like pattern. A while back ago, I tried similar effects with uh, another software like Maya or Houdini um, now that we have it in Blender it's, uh, it's pretty cool to be able to do this very quickly it's the Foronoi can give you like uh, this kind of effects this like a uh, it's looking a little bit like origami or like a uh, paper mache papier mache or whatever you call it so mesh to volume, volume to mesh. What else? I haven't talked about the. Okay, play around with the density, voxel amount. Okay, so set position. You can also okay with the original position. You can try this effect. Oops. Position. You can snap. If you snap the positions, you you can get like a kind of like a brickify or Lego type of effects. Yeah, not exactly. You you might need to you might need to merge it. Yeah, you get that blocky grid like effects. Maybe you don't need that, but just show you that you can do that um that's actually pretty much what i want to show you if i okay if at this point i want to give material i have this sanctus material so it's an add-on okay sanctus library i can use the food my favorite chocolate assign material and assign it using geometry nodes and then I just need, need to switch to cycles and then do a render okay it's uh yeah okay it's trying to calculate something set a light one thing with the volume is uh that we haven't done is actually the UV because it's turning the whole mesh it's disregarding the original UV on the monkey cube and the torus there is a of course there's a UV but because we remesh it we turn it into volume and then in, back into a mesh we don't have proper UV a quick way I think for now there is also this uh, unwrap UV nodes that I haven't I haven't tried I will try it in the next video but for now if you maybe for example I'm just gonna select all of this and then right click and then convert all of them into a mesh and then simply go to edit mode and then f3 oops what is this uh, okay functions f3 unwrap now we should have a better chocolate material after we do the uv uh, not so obvious because the chocolate material is using the uv let's see let's see save 
UV editor. Okay, uh, we, we need to F3 and then smart UV project. Okay. One thing about the volume is that it gives you kind of this this kind of pattern. We might need to smooth this as well. Smooth. Okay, something to keep in mind. Anyhow, that's uh, basically a uh, mesh to volume node. So if if I'm not wrong, uh, at some point we might have more nodes that's dealing with volume. So we can just like the just like the volume cube actually. Volume cube is special because it has this density input <clears throat> that you can modify. So if the objects become volume, we can yeah actually play around with the density, which uh, which of course I didn't <laughs> I didn't see this before, but I believe at some point we can just plug in the noise. Like at the moment, I don't think you can. Yeah, it doesn't work. It works differently from volume cube at the moment. See, th this one has different. This one has dot. That means it, it can take multiple value. This one doesn't have it yet, so we cannot just plug that in. But anyhow, at some point we might be able to do that. So that's pretty much it. I will, yeah, I will give you the the node tree at, at GitHub. Hopefully you find this useful. Um, so thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.